good morning students hope you all are fine okay uh, students yesterday i have uh, taken this one uh, for today's but in the today's zoom meeting i have explained the previous one previous heading okay internal sources so i am going to explain the this one yesterday's as today's okay external sources of recruitment the internal sources we have learned now what are the external sources of recruitment this one again we can divide it into two direct source indirect source okay first we will learn about the direct source how directly they are um, recruiting people from outside the organization external sources means the source from outside the organization first one through advertisement okay through advertisement only they are Uh, selecting the candidates what they will do in the advertisement they will select a media isn't it either it may be radio or tv they have to uh, decide about the media then what they do they will prepare the advertisement copy and they will advertise in any newspaper okay as they have selected then they have to specify the name of the job okay or nature of the job then how many the number of vacancies available okay then what is the qualification needed for that job then uh, qualification and experience needed okay then how much salary they will provide for the the applicants okay then how they have to apply either uh, hand written or uh, the special form or some sometimes the form will be downloaded from the organizations websites okay and at last they will give the time limit within this month okay the time limit also will be given through this they will attract the uh, applicants okay then the next one is unsolicited applicants here the organization will not uh, notify the organization will not advertise in the paper or anywhere but this applicants voluntarily they will apply before receiving any notification in the uh, in any newspaper or anywhere okay so they themselves will apply okay for the vacancies available in the organization okay then the vacancies vacancies means they will uh, directly come to the organization inside the organization and they will uh, contact the people those who are in charge maybe the director who is in charge of recruiting okay then campus recruitment this you might have heard uh, usually and mostly in nowadays in the colleges the job seekers that means the employers will contact they will come directly in the educational institution and they will identify or they will select the candidates that means the efficient that means the meritorious students will be selected as their candidates okay then recruiting at factory gate this one outside only but at the factory factory gate they are selecting recruiting people usually which type of uh, personnel will be selected only the uh, lower level workers okay maybe we can call them as unskilled laborers okay unskilled laborers and they also may be uh, recruited for a limited period of time okay temporary workers not permanent okay permanent means they have to see many things but temporary worker, workers and unskilled laborers can be recruited at the factory gate okay then from the rival firms rival firms means our uh, competitive competitors organization okay how oh, here this one we can call it as poaching also that one is coming again in the lesson okay what is poaching instead of doing this Uh, that recruiting people they will directly go to their rival organization okay their competitors organization or 
the similar organization okay for example an educational institution they will contact the that a the, the very uh, that famous uh, their organization that means educational institution and they will uh, call the people okay by uh, attracting them uh, saying that they will provide more salary than that they are receiving okay so they will be attracted by giving some monetary benefits and they will be recruited okay usually which uh, one they will do like this you know that those who need some special uh, skill okay for example teachers and the chartered accountants those who are doing that those who need better experience okay experienced candidates only can perform well that is why they are doing this one okay that is called poaching or from the rival firms then the last one e recruitment okay e recruitment to be you know electronic recruitment okay in the online also they can recruit candidates okay there will be their candidates details will be there they can screen them and they can select whom they want okay that type of recruitment is called e recruitment then what are the indirect sources but external only but indirectly they are selecting in this one directly they are they are contacting the applicants but here indirectly here first one employee referral here the present employees they will uh, give some reference that means they the, the employees of that uh, present employees of that that organization will inform if there is any vacancy to their uh, family members or relatives or their friends or neighbors okay then the same employee will inform that they will recommend that uh, for that person in with the management also okay so this one will it is based on the the credibility of the employees if that employees uh, that means uh, very um, that uh, if the management likes him okay one who gave the referral then only they will consider that applicant okay otherwise if they do not like an employee and the same employee is uh, giving some uh, recommending for some uh, candidates will the management agree will the management call those persons no okay so as per the uh, credibility of the employees the referral will be considered okay then employment exchanges two types of employment exchanges one government and other one private okay here employment exchanges will give enough needed information that means the government employment exchange will provide information for the organizations okay their uh, qualification their qualification everything will be given their location okay address everything will be given to them so the job seekers will get it and they will um, they will analyze and they will call for the people okay candidates then in the same way private ex exchanges are also running nowadays okay they will contact to both even the candidates as well as the job providers okay job seekers and job providers will be contacted for this purpose they will get collect something as uh, charge also fees okay private people but government will never collect any amount okay then this one employee consultancy is also available here the consultancy is uh, uh, that this one we can say as the this one recruitment process outsourcing okay here also they are also doing like this employment exchanges only separate consultancies will be there these consultancies will be having more, both the people job seekers list also they will be having job providers okay uh, as soon as they receive any information from the job uh, pro providers they will pass this information to all the job seekers okay so they may collect the fees from both the parties job seekers and job providers okay they are the uh, that recruitment process outsourcing then the professional associations are there especially for the uh, higher post okay high caliber and with the reputation for example the chartered accountants or 
that uh, medical representatives okay or any engineers or any managerial personnel they will contact that related association for example if they need a chartered accountant they will contact the institute of chartered accountants of india icai okay so any uh, many people will be registered those who have passed their ca exam their name will be registered in that institution so they will get the information directly and they can recruit okay no no it is very easy for them in the same way management association also there all india management association any managerial personnel an organization needs then they can get the details from that association and they can recruit okay then next one deputation okay deputation means here yeah, dep is used to say that deputy engineer deputy um, minister okay direct deputy director we say okay, that means the assistant okay here we can say uh, part time job okay for uh, for a separate job or for a specific period of time they will be appointed okay that deputation that employee may be already working in another organization as full time but here just for uh, doing some job he will be appointed okay then word of mouth here uh, some people will say uh, the organization its vacancies number of vacancies or that post vacant that post of that uh, how many which post and uh, is vacant they will inform this one through the Uh, that means the employees of that organization they will pass this message through mouth okay so by hearing this one another person will will come to recruit okay they will come for uh, giving the application in the organization that is called by the word of mouth then labor or contractors this is done especially for the uh, that uh, unskilled laborers or daily workers okay they will have many laborers in their hand if any organization needs this unskilled laborers okay that porters we used to say they those who carry things okay or uh, daily workers okay they uh, will have this the contractors will have the laborers they can provide this, their laborers for some other organization to complete some job okay through that we also they can recruit workers then job portal this one like internet uh, job portal organization will be there okay so from that job portal our any organization if they need they can recruit okay that means like uh, uh, e recruitment now what are the recent method only two one is that outsourcing okay that uh, recruitment process outsourcing another one poaching okay that means we uh, we can that we have learned like uh, rival firms okay these all two are the main important uh, the recent methods of recruiting personnel okay that means internet and going to the rival firms and finding out people okay that is the shortest method okay now they that process itself recruitment process itself very large but still they do uh, recruitment board okay they do all the process okay without leaving anything they do it okay so we will uh, learn all these in the uh, zoom meeting okay students thank you very much